What's going on guys, Christopher Toro here and welcome to Glorified Games, the place that we talk about video games and sometimes supersonic related stuff. So I don't know if you've heard, well I'd frankly be surprised if you haven't, but data miners have found Supersonic in the PC version of Sonic Forces. So I've done some research and I've found that Supersonic will most likely be a DLC come December 29th, so wait for that. And the reason why I think it's locked is simply because of a meme. It seems like Supersonic completely works in the PC version. It seems like there are no glitches to stop it from being a proper Supersonic in a Sonic game, but I've noticed after doing Doing some research and watching a lot of people play this character that you're actually forced to become supersonic after collecting 50 rings so think about the only reason why Sega would hold this from us they obviously know about the Sanic meme but why would they intentionally hold supersonic could it be just to not clarify that meme any further because it is very weird how right after you go to that final ring you automatically turn to supersonic either they're holding him to not give Give that meme any more life or they're just trying to work out exactly where you can use the uh, supersonic transformation and possibly get him into some cutscenes because i do notice right before you hit that cutscene he transforms back but it seems like the stages are so short and maybe they just at first didn't have a finishing animation for him like flying around just like how he did in generations maybe they're buying some time to add those animations and add the trigger to become supersonic so yes sonic forces does force you to become come supersonic and oh boy the gameplay does seem pretty cool the animation of supersonic just changes when you're flying and just like in lost worlds you have infinite boost even though that could be the case, it just seems like Supersonic was an afterthought and maybe he was a day one patch at first, but it did really feel like they were going to add the transformation on day one. For some reason, you're not able to play as him even though he is fully playable. Maybe they have some work to do aside from other DLC that they plan to release for Sonic Forces. Either way, if he releases in that style, I'm not sure if I would enjoy it, seeing how there are so many rings and that just takes away from the replayability of each stage even more. By forcing you to become supersonic at a certain point because at some point you're not really able to avoid rings there are even sections where there are the 10 coupled rings in a row of like 20 so it's going to be even more difficult to become supersonic when you want so most likely you just won't get an animation at the end and i don't really care about the animation but it would have been a cool option to have that so yeah i was kind of surprised about this news how they would actually bring more of a linear feeling to even supersonic and have you change to him without actually wanting to. I just don't get what they're doing. And wouldn't it be so much easier just to put a trigger? It's a simple cue to activate a transformation, having freedom in any way. It's like Sonic Team is trying to give us a message, I feel. They call it forces, and they're forcing us to do so much in this game that I just feel like they're kind of telling us, oh, well, you forced us into a corner. I don't know. It feels like they're almost doing this out of spite, especially holding Super Sonic in the game. Like, he works. It's just strange to me. <laughs> he looks cool and all. I feel like there was so much more freedom in Generations. And I don't know if you noticed the first few trailers of Forces, but they do actually say from the team that brought you Generations and Colors. So there was a direct reference to those two games in the trailers. You know, like how a movie says from the director of this and that, they kind of made you believe that it was going to be in the same essence of those two other games, if you believe that. But of course, most of us did our research, but I guess that's not the worst news. And I was going to make an entire video on this. There's actually something that's going on with the internet right now. It's an attack on net neutrality. And if you guys don't know about it already, you should definitely look it up. There's actually a voting system against it. And you can call somebody to explain why you don't want this bill to go through to get rid of net neutrality. And for obvious reasons, we need net neutrality. Everybody's giving examples as to how it would work. But just imagine this. Remember the good old days when there was cable and you had to pay a specific premium price for channels with specific shows? So just imagine that same concept worked with the internet and you're paying a premium price, but for YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, and all of those other major internet sites. So the government knows that all of this change, all of these small businesses are coming from the internet. So now they are treating the internet as if it is cable and they want to fully control what you watch, just like how 
in a way, they control what we watch on television, or control what advertisements are on there, and control what shows you see on each channel. So they basically want to simplify the internet into becoming the next cable. So pretty much taking a billion steps back in society and making it a lot more closed off. But I don't want to get too much into that. Just look it up, guys, and support the cause because there is a bill being swept under our feet and they think they could get away with it, but you just have to realize that it's important that they don't. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're having a good one. See you guys in the next video. Later.